Hey there, my name is Thako, and I will be talking about Lowman Central today. It's a project that I'm very passionate about, and yeah, let's talk about it. So this video won't be scripted like my other videos, so yeah, I'll be speaking from my heart on the fly, so hopefully that sounds good. So what is Lowman Central? Lowman Central will be a place for people to learn, for people to see their stats, to look at their placements on leaderboards, and to maybe be featured in the Hall of Fame, but we'll get to that later. Um, currently, the best feature of the site is the report page. If you're familiar with reports, which I think you are, um, it's basically the same thing, but it's for Lomads, and there's a couple features that differentiate raid reports and Loman Central reports. So let's take a look at them, right? First, we have tags. So tags are pretty much the same thing, but um, the main, main difference is that we have master tags. For example, if you were to go and do Trio of Flawless Master Root of Nightmares, you would you would only have a Trio of Flawless tag on Ready Ports. Now, I didn't like the feature, so I included this on my site. So, tags work the same as there. They would show your highest um, completion, uh, the toughest activity that is. And yeah, there's something called badges. So, badges here. Uh, they represent everything you've done. You can look at them as a checklist. Um, if you look at here, I've completed a trio, a solo, a trio a master, and a trio master flawless. Um, the colors are the differentiators. Stars mean flawless, and ships mean player count. Um, there are also dots. These, each of these dots is your activity. You can click on them. And once you do, let's take a look at my trio flawless master. It says that it's Root of Nightmares, Root of Flawless Master, and it shows every player that played this activity. Shouts out to Soju and Soto. Um, what's also really cool is, unlike Ready Ports, my site actually shows three players. However, if we were on Ready Ports, it would only show characters. And on my site, I have combined stats here, showing if you swap characters, you would have character specific stats just as shown here so for example this is a warlock icon right and he didn't complete the activity and he had 246 kills and this is his titan because he swapped midway through and he had 228 kills and this is combined so that's that's a feature that um i wanted to make because i think it's much cleaner it's easier to understand and i think it's uh cool <laughs> so let's get back to here also what's really interesting about Bungie API um, is first of all, all of the stats here are being pulled from the Bungie API directly. That's why it's taking some time to load. The way to combat this is to have a database that will I will start works on uh, after the Crota uh, readers tomorrow, and it will make your stuff load so much faster. It's gonna be sick. And not only that, it will also allow for me to start getting data for the leaderboards that will eventually launch in beta. But as soon as leaderboards get added, we'll be leaving pre-alpha and we'll be finally heading into alpha, the, the long-awaited alpha. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. So right now it might take a couple, maybe like if you have insane amount of clears, let's say, I don't know, like 6,000 is going to take a minute, two max, maybe even three, depending on like how, how many clears you have, right? But yeah, it will take a bit, but it will load. It will 100% load because we have to comply with the Bungie API restrictions. Uh, we can't really send like 6,000 requests to their database right now. It's, it's impossible. You can only do them in small chunks. So yeah. Um, also, there is how many clears you have for each category and also the fastest time. However, if you were to hop on a checkpoint and you clear that raid, that won't be counted for your fastest time. It would only show your clear. For example, my duo, Kingsfall, because the whole duo raid is impossible because of the second encounter, I believe. And third. This is post-recording, Dako. Um, I forgot to mention something. So, for example, um, I was talking about the Bungie API in the video, you'll see. And Bungie API was actually glitched uh, throughout the whole Beyond Light year, and it was showing the your runs as checkpoint runs. No, cap. It was showing your runs as full clears, even though they were checkpoint runs. And, for example, this person right here, 
um, they have a flawless duo, which is not possible, right? And if you look at their tag here, it would say duo, but that's because this is being pulled from the Bungie API. And this stuff right here is being pulled from the very poor database that is unfortunately um, not public. So if I had access to this site would be crazy immediately, like crazy a lot times. And also uh, if you look at Loman Central, he won't have this tag. It won't be on his profile and yeah now the problem with this is if you actually went and did a trio flawless a duo flawless with some raid during these years you won't have those tags unfortunately but i will include a way of people once the database gets added uh, i will include a way of people reporting that and letting me know that they actually clear those so i'll be adding those let's get back to the video um so yeah let's talk about what is next? Uh, I have a small, small like talking points. Um, yeah, pasteable links. Insta pasteable, meaning if you have a friend, then you want to show him your stats. You can just copy this and set it to him. So yeah, we're done talking about reports. Let's talk about the main page. Main page is not available currently. It will be added very soon. I would say even before the database. Uh, it will feature a really, really, really clean look and it will feature latest runs. Meaning, if you were to go on the site and you search yourself, you get added to the database. The person that, that has the latest uh, raid completion would appear on the site, so it would be like here. And everybody on that team would be featured. So, I want to make Loman Central a place for people to learn as well. So, we have guides. Uh, Guides is a feature that I've recently added, literally like yesterday, two days ago, this point. Um, it has this rotating um, slider where you can choose a raid and you can see for each of the raid, the guide. Um, currently there's only Wolf Glass available. Uh, I'm working on getting Voodoo Nightmares next, that's in production right now. And all of the guides will be recorded by me and the Loma Central team. Um, it's not like we have a team, it's only me, but <laughs> people are, are uh, happy to help. Speaking of that, I would like to shout out Lean, BRT, and Kendrick for helping me. And I also uh, want to apologize to both Lean and BRT because they didn't end up using their footage because I wanted to push this out as soon as I could. So yeah, my apologies from my deepest heart, boys. Um, and yeah, first we will do all the trio guides, then the duos, and then the solo guides. Now, something that I wanted also to include, eventually at some point, once the leaderboards, um, the database that is, gets added, um, I will have a way of storing information such as counter clears. And I would have players, if they wanted to, and let's say they, care, they, they clear caretaker, solo caretaker, they would be able to submit that and either me or we will think about something that may be able to verify that you clear that encounter by yourself or you know for example do a first encounter or solo first encounter in vow the disciple and i will be adding badges for those as well in the future on the report page on the report page um and yeah now we go to leaderboards so as i said like 10 times by far i believe Leaderboards will not only have API times, they will also have speedrun.com times. Um, meaning that speedrun speedruns and API times work differently because the API time starts from when you start launching and when you mission complete, that, that's when the API time finishes. But speedruns work differently. When you submit and run on, SAC, on SRC, I believe that your time when you start speedrunning starts as soon as one of the members move and it ends on the first frame where you kill the boss. So those time will be different by seconds probably, but it's still a different category. So I will be including those both for people who go for API times and both for people who go for uh, speedrun.com uh, times. There will be trio, duo speeds, solo speeds. There will also be uh, clears and yeah, you will have, and also something called teaching rank, which I kind of forgot to talk about. Uh, in the report page. Uh, so each of these blobs right here, they will be your ranks. So this is gonna be your, uh, what is it called? Um, 
I'm sorry, I'm bugging out. This will be your clears rank, speed rank, teacher rank. So you'll be able to teach people. That will be tracked. You'll be on the leaderboard as well. And mastery ranked. Um, that will be like how many of the raids you've completed every badge on. So it's, it's going to be a cool thing that you can show on your profile. Um, and yeah. Let's talk about uh, Hall of Fame. So Hall of Fame is also not ready right now. Hall of Fame will feature every raid and uh, people who have beat each category first. For example, World's First will be featured there for, I don't know, let's say, um, Seed of Nightmares. Uh, I believe it's Steam Hard in the Paint. Uh, and then for each other raid like that, it will say first trio, first trio flawless, first trio flawless master, first duo, and etc. Including, um, I will also be adding the solo encounters as well. So yeah, uh, and about page right now it doesn't have a bunch of stuff. Uh, some info e begging basically here, and you can report bugs here. And shouts out to uh, my clanmates. So yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you like using the site. If you encounter any bugs, let me know. And yeah, see ya.